Hey what's up guys, it's CapNastro9 and today I'm going to bring you guys a tutorial on how to get pet charms used to buy various things. I used to get the magic pet mirror but you could be doing it for whatever. But anyways this tutorial is going to be essentially showing you how to net 32 to 34 battle pet charms daily depending upon the amount of level 100s you have and the level of your pet battle menagerie. But anyways, getting into it, our first fight will be against Garga in Frostfire Ridge, right there. Essentially, she has just three beasts. Not extremely hard, but she can hit pretty hard in some of her, um, her I think her, it's her last pet. She has this evasion ability that's extremely annoying. But anyways, uh, doesn't take a lot to take her down. Just take one mechanical into the fight and you should be good. But if you have two, that would be great too. Unfortunately uh, for me, I only have this Pandaren, uh, mechanical Pandaren Dragonling. But still, I was able to pull it out and get the win. And I usually do. But again, if you have multiple uh, mechanicals, it's definitely a lot better. Because as you can see, I'm already on the first pet struggling at 21 health out of my 1400. But yeah, uh, again, super easy fight should not have too much trouble but watch out for crits because on this again I don't have two mechanicals so if my mechanical dragonling gets critted and just dies like the first shot or whatever it's pretty much a loss but uh, you can have a little more safety than others but yeah So that's the end of that fight, and yeah, each of these fights are going to be giving you four battle pet charms. Uh, I'm not showing the one that's in the pet battle menagerie, but yeah. So back there on the map, it showed you where to find uh, Simri Brightblade. I don't know how to pronounce the first uh, word, but don't be intimidated by her. She looks a little intimidating just because she has the legendary pets, but she's easily taken down if you have the right racial advantages so her first pet here is going to be undead which I used my um, core hound who has a move that's good against the undead so if you were online for whatever world event that was I don't really remember which one it was to get the core hound pup I definitely recommend leveling him up because he is fairly useful in these fights but yeah so this person the order of her um, racials just goes undead magic mechanical so all you have to do is get um, things that are good against that uh, right now I'm using my core hound pup a death talent up guard and an abyssius and it works out fine I rarely lose the only time I lose is if she gets like two crits off like first time but yeah I'm just using my abyss or er, my um, death talent up guard right here just because she finished off my core, core hound pup before he um, really killed the first undead but it's fine because he lines up for the next battle pet and we'll take him down pretty quickly but yes um, I must say for this tutorial there aren't many pets that I'd really say you need for this route that I'm doing but there are some that are highly recommended by me and I don't really know too many workarounds that you could use in order to you know, not have to buy them, but ones that I definitely recommend would be this Death Talon Whelp Guard that I have right now. I believe he's Guardian? I'm not exactly sure on that. That's kind of a guess, honestly, but um, Death Talon Whelp Guard and Criminius are extremely helpful on this route. Their abilities really line up with um, most of the other ba Battle Pet Trainers. and um, Yeah, so they're super helpful, but um, for this route in general and having the Battle Pet Menagerie, I just recommend having at least one of each racial at 25 and having them rare quality. Just because there are a lot of fights that 
I at first could not complete just because um, like whatever reason like I didn't have the racial advantage that was going to get me the win but um, yeah so that made me lose out on a lot of charms like on the last fight that I'm going to be showing you I never had a um, good undead I, yeah I think it's undead um, I didn't have a good undead uh, pet so I was losing out on four charms a day so that's that's pretty bad and it was even worse when I first first started when I couldn't do like half these fights but if you just level up some of your pets and get to 25 you should be fine but anyways um, this next person will be Tarloon it, she's a flying trainer super super easy probably the first the easiest on the route. You'll find her in Talador, as I highlighted in the map um, earlier. Sorry if it's a little short, but I'm assuming you guys can pause in that two second frame. But anyways, again, Kerminius coming into play here. Make sure you have Arcane Blast and I think it's Ancient Blessing that I'm using to heal. Those two moves will win you a fight. You'll pretty much get all the um, moths low enough health that you can just finish them off with one but maybe two other pets so it doesn't really matter what you have on your bench the side but the only things you really have to worry about and making sure you're not popping cooldowns or whatever is when she uses this next ability she's gonna be using I'm pretty sure because she will not only hit you but she'll also cocoon and block the move so if you use something like howl and it'll just be completely blocked and howl, howl will have no effect but other than that, she's easily taken down. Hard to lose unless you get critted or using your abilities at the wrong times. But right now I'm using Pet Track, or yeah, I think it's Pet Tracker. Um, the add-on, it shows me the moves and their cooldowns. Super helpful. I would definitely recommend it to Battle Pet Trainers if you're into Battle Pets or maybe if you just want to level up for money or whatever. But yeah, as I said, you don't need anything super strong, so... My, my dragonling will just finish him off. I'm pretty sure. I think he actually dies, but um, yeah. And that's another four battle pet charms. So next fight, again, pretty easy. It's going to be against Vashar in the Spires of Iraq. I think it's, <laughs> I think that's how it's said. But um, yeah, super easy. In if you're using pet tracker though, as I mentioned earlier in the video, it'll say that it goes flying, flying, and then the mechanical. But it'll actually be flying, mechanical, flying. But again, Kerminius, just pound him down with that ain't or uh, arcane blast. And this will be no problem. The mechanical, just get Core Hound Pup if you have it, or any other um, elemental, and he'll just wreck. I think it's a little boy. No, no, no. He's using. I'm not actually sure what he's using, but it's a mechanical and it's not strong at all. It doesn't have any abilities that you really have to worry about. But um, the two flying types will get knocked down by Kermenius pretty hard and won't be much of a problem. So. I think your second battle pet, whatever it may be, as long as it's the elemental, should be able to be taken, or take the other two, as long as it's not, like, not level 25 or something. I don't know. But if this is an easy, another four battle pet charms. Alright, 
so yet again just another win uh, next moving on we have Ashley uh, I'm sorry again <laughs> it's spelled with an I at the end and I'm terrible with pronunciation and just names in general but essentially she just has two magic and one beast going in order from racial um, going in racial order it's just magic beast magic essentially it may as well be a two pet battle versus three you having a three just because that plushy right there um, doesn't do anything that does any damage at all it's just a stand-in its abilities are look cute and fall asleep essentially so total joke you can just wreck it but once it falls asleep it's gonna be pulling out that beast back there which as long as you have some sort of defensive ability that blocks like 71 damage or so um, you should be good just because it'll be doing a stampede and you can block all the damage that way and then it's essentially stuck in three moves like doing just no damage at all but yeah and a quick tip about this route that I'm be I'm taking right now um when you're taking it make sure that you're healing directly after each fight if possible because the worst thing is if you get critted a couple times in a fight and you need to heal up again you get right up to the person and you need to wait like a couple minutes to heal that sucks always but um yeah so last guy tar the terrible he was the one i had trouble with on a while i was losing out on four coins a day only getting a maximum of 30 coins which isn't terrible honestly but it was losing out a little bit but essentially all you'll need is one undead i'm using uh we abomination i think it's called yeah, he's, he's pretty strong. He gets knocked out, though, usually, and um, can't solo him yet, but he's he's pretty tanky and pretty strong. Definitely recommend him. Um, yeah, so as long as you have one good undead, you'll be doing this no problem. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much all of the battle pets that you'll find around Draenor, but again, your battle pet menagerie, um, depending upon the level of it, that just makes it so whether you get 32 or 34 you won't get a, a guaranteed 34 if you have a level 10 but you also have the x like extra chance to get two more or more pets whatever out of bag from the daily that's in your garrison already i'm not going to be going through those bat battle pets just because that would take me about a month of just recording those just because obviously it's a daily so I'll have to wait once a day and getting through all the fights there's like so many fights there's like 15 or something I don't know the actual number it's just a guess but there's there's a lot and some of them are actually fairly challenging um, but they're all all doable all doable and um, yeah so this um, this route here again it's kind of grindy but um, the amount of battle pet charms can go up from 8 to 10 depending upon how many level 100s you have and again, this does require one level 100. You can't be doing this on level 70, 75, whatever. Because you need garrison, you need access to Draenor. And Draenor is the only place you'll be finding these Master Bet Battle Pet Trainers that actually give these coins. So, yeah. Um, this route can be used for a mul multitude of reasons. As I said, I did it for the Magic Pet Mirror. You could also be doing it for the Lost Nether Pup or Mystery Bag, but that's pretty much all that it's worth buying I guess you could get the other pets if you're a collector but um, yeah the main reasons is gold and the toy but once you're done getting the toy which is 500 coins um, almost no reason to do it I guess but um, you'll get some quick level 25s if you do it with by buying mystery bag um, yeah the mystery bag gives a chance of getting one to three um, flawless battle pet training stones. I don't know if they're actually the flawless ones, but essentially they just ma uh, raise the level of one of your pets depending upon the racial. So that'll end up the video, and I'm thanking you guys for watching. Um, yeah, see ya.